Hello students. In our previous video, we learnt about the annihilator method. Now let us apply this method to solve a non-homogeneous differential equation. Now this is the given equation is a non-homogeneous differential equation because it is of the form L of Y is equal to B of X where B of X is equal to X squared. Now according to this B of X we have to choose our annihilator operator. Now B of X is equal to X squared. It is in the form X bar K. So if you see here for x power k, the annihilator operator is given by y power k plus 1. That is y has to be differentiated k plus 1 times. And its characteristic polynomial is given by r to the power k plus 1. So let us do this now. So we choose the annihilator operator capital M to be equal to y power k plus 1. The value of k here is 2. So 2 plus 1 is 3. So this will be the annihilator operator for the given b of x. Now operating on both the sides with capital M. So m of l of y will be equal to m of b of x. Now what is m of l of y? That is m is y differentiated 3 times. l of y is this. So y double dash minus 3y dash plus 2y is equal to m of so y 3 times differentiation of x square. Now on the left hand side we get so when we differentiate y double dash 3 times we obtain y already it is differentiated twice so again when we differentiate it three times it will be it will be differentiated five times so y power five minus three now y dash is one time differentiated when we differentiate it again three times it will be differentiated for four times so y power four plus two now this is y when you differentiate y thrice it it will be y power three only so that is equal to now for x square, we know that if uh, if we have x squared, when we differentiate it once, we get 2x. When we differentiate it thrice, I mean uh, second time, for the second time when we differentiate, we get 2. And we, when we differentiate it for the third time, it becomes 0. Therefore, the right hand side has become 0. And this equation has been turned to be a homogeneous equation. So this homogeneous equation can be easily resolved. Now we have to write the characteristic equation of this equation. Now the characteristic polynomial for m of, we know that the characteristic polynomial for m of l of y is the product of characteristic polynomial of m multiplied with characteristic polynomial of l. So this is the characteristic polynomial of m l that is equal to characteristic polynomial of m multiplied with characteristic polynomial of l. And so that will be equal to what is the characteristic polynomial of m that just now we saw m is equal to y power 3. So the characteristic polynomial for y power k plus 1 is r power k plus 1. So here it is y power 3. So it will be r power 3 which is uh, equal to I mean r power 3 characteristic polynomial of m. And then this has to be multiplied with the characteristic polynomial of L. Now what is L? L is this y double dash minus 3 y dash plus 2y. So its characteristic polynomial will be r square minus 3r plus 2 is equal to 0. So this is the characteristic polynomial that we have. Now uh, r cube is equal to 0. From that we get r to be equal to 0 thrice and we have r squared minus 3 r plus 2 equal to 0 so when we factorize it we will be having it as this is minus 2 and minus 2 and so r minus 2 multiplied with r minus 1 is equal to 0 and so the value of r is equal to 2 and 1 so we observe that 
there is a uh, three repeated roots which is 0 0 0 and uh, the two of the other roots is 1 comma 2 so in general r is equal to 0 0 0 and 1 comma 2 so these are the roots of r so the most general solution xi of x will be equal to now uh, here these three roots are repeated roots so the it will be the its solution will be c naught e power 0 x plus c1 because it is a repeated root we know that we have to multiply this by x so x e power 0 x plus c2 that is this is a third repeated root so it will become x squared e power 0 x plus c4 e power 1 x so x plus c5 i mean uh, this is c naught 1 2 this should be c3 c3 e power x and c4 e power 2 x okay so here we have 2 x e power 2 x so that is equal to so xi of x will be equal to e power 0 is 1 so c naught plus c1 x plus c2 x square plus c3 e power x plus c4 e power 2x now this is the most general solution but we observe that this solution that is c3 e power x plus c4 e power x is the solution for l of y equal to 0 so uh, that is this this is the characteristic polynomial for l so from this only we obtain the roots 1 comma 2 so this will be actually phi of x because uh, we know that the phi of x is the most I mean, uh, phi of x is the general solution for the um, polynomial I mean for l of y equal to 0 for the homogeneous equation l of y equal to 0 so from this we can say that this one should be the uh, particular solution xi p of x because this is phi of x we know that xi, uh, xi is equal to xi p plus phi so we can say that uh, this c0 plus c1x plus c2x square is xi p this is the particular solution but very importantly in the particular solution we should not have the constants the so these constants c0 c1 c2 has to be eliminated so this can be eliminated by uh, substituting xi p in l of y equal to uh, b of x that is we know that the xi p is a particular solution of l of y so l of xi p must satisfy this equation that is um, l of y equal to x square it has to satisfy this equation because it is a particular solution so if it satisfies this which implies what is l of y actually y double dash so instead of y xi p double dash minus and then uh, 3 y dash so 3 xi p dash plus 2 y so 2 xi p is equal to x square now let us find xi p double dash xi p dash and we shall substitute all that here and we can compare the coefficients on both the sides and we can eliminate the constants c naught c1 and c2 so first uh, xi p we shall write so xi p of x is given to be i mean from this we have obtained it to be c naught plus c1 x plus c2 x square so from this xi p dash of x will be equal to so when we in uh, differentiate this c naught will become 0 so x so uh, the differentiation for x is 1 so c1 plus the differentiation of x squared is 2x so it's 2 c2 uh, x so this is the differentiation for i mean this is xi p dash and then xi p double dash of x will be equal to c1 now this will become 0 and here you will have 2 c2 so now these three we have to substitute in this equation after substituting this is what we get so uh, this is xi p double dash minus 3 multiplied with xi p dash plus 2 multiplied with xi p equal to x square now we shall compare the coefficients on both the sides for that first we shall just simplify the left hand side 2 c2 minus 3 c1 plus 6 c2 x okay uh, plus 2 c naught plus 2 c1 x 
plus 2 c2 x squared is equal to x squared. We shall just gather the terms and we shall write. Now this is the x squared term. So we shall write that first. So 2 c2 x squared and then this is the x, to x term. So we can take that x common out. So 6 c2 plus 2 c1 multiplied with x and these three are the constant terms. So plus 2c2 minus 3c1 and then plus 2c0 is equal to x square. Now the coefficient of x square on the left hand side is 2c2 and we don't have any other x square term. On the right the coefficient of x squared is 1 so that is equal to 1. From this we obtain c2 to be equal to 1 by 2. So we have obtained the value of c2. Now, let us compare the coefficients of x on both the sides. So, on the left, the coefficient of x is 6c2 plus 2c1. So, that is equal to, on the right, we don't have the x term and so the coefficient of x to, is to be treated as 0. So, this will be 0. Already, the value of c2 is 1 by 2. So, from this, 6 multiplied with 1 by 2 plus 2c1 is equal to 0. So, 3 times. So, from this we get 2c1 to be equal to negative 3. Taking this 3 to the other side, we get it minus 3 on the right. So, from that we get the value of c1 to be equal to minus 3 by 2. So, this is the value of c1. Now, next we shall compare the constant terms on both the sides. Here the constant term is this. That is 2c2 minus 3c1 plus 2c0. On the right, we don't have a constant term and so we can equate it to 0. So now the value of c2 is 1 by 2. So 1 by 2, we shall substitute that. Minus 3 multiplied with the value of c1 is minus 3 by 2 plus 2 multiplied with c0 is equal to 0. Now we shall simplify those. So, this 2 and 2 will get cancelled. So, 1 and then uh, minus into minus is plus 3, 3 times is 9 divided by 2 plus 2 c naught is equal to 0. So, from this we, we shall just simplify these two terms. So, uh, taking LCM here it will be 2 plus 9 which is 11 by 9. And uh, before doing this, there is a small mistake here actually. Now when we simplify this, this uh, minus 3c1 and this minus into plus, actually I forgot to put a negative sign here. Because we have a minus here, so minus into plus will be minus. So because of that, here I mean uh, this will be a plus, I mean uh, this will be plus and here you have a negative sign okay this is plus only this is negative 6c2 so here we will have negative 6c2 and so here negative sign and when this goes to the right it will be positive actually so the value of c1 is positive 3 by 2 so because of that this will be positive and so here we will be having a negative sign and so now we have to simplify this so this will be negative 7 by uh, 2 plus 2c0 Kindly make that correction students. So that will be uh, from that we get 2c0 to be equal to 7 by 2. And so the value of c0 will be equal to 7 by 4. So this is the value of c0. So we have found the value of c0, c1 and the value of c2. Now these three values has to be substituted in our solution xi of x that is here in this solution we have to substitute c0 c1 c2 uh, at these places so that the, these three constants of the particular solution will be eliminated and we will be getting the most general solution so let us do that now so therefore the particular solution first we will write therefore the particular solution is given by xi p of x which is equal to what c naught first so 7 by 4 plus c1 x c1 is 3 by 2 x plus 
uh, we we have um, next one is c two x squared. C two is one by two, so one by two x squared. We can take this one by four common out here, so that inside we can uh, we can write this as two x squared plus six x plus seven. Okay. So now this is the uh, particular solution xi p of x. So therefore, the general most general solution xi of x will be equal to xi p of x plus phi of x, uh, which we have already uh, which we already have here. So we shall just substitute and let's complete the problem. And so it will be one by four two x squared plus six x plus seven plus c three. e power x plus c4 e power 2x so this is the most general solution uh, of the given equation uh, so this method is known as the annihilator method it's a very significant method to solve the non homogeneous differential equations hope you have understood this problem thank you